They came right over to where I was and did this with a placard so I could read. I said, I read it, fine. And then I started to be jostled with a shoulder like that. And I said, look, we came in peace and I, I'm about to leave and please, I'm leaving in peace. I didn't make any loud statement. I was talking in the, almost whisper tones to Jane Cubberberry. And suddenly a missile hit me and I think it was a, an egg. It was that I got an enormous thump on the back with a whip. And then I'm not sure what happened, but I was whipped solidly as I made my way back to my car. <laughs> You see the lashes in yes. it requires medication. Yeah. So these are rungos as well. <laughs> these are rungos, not just Rio Moran. Kenya's this, Kenya's that. Generally negative. Inappropriate in some cases. But what I've always heard, and I think is relevant to point it out today, is they say, but. The private sector in Kenya works exceedingly well. And that, I think, is a tribute to you who are here today. We must recognize that the private sector, the entrepreneurial spirit that we have in Kenya, and the commitment to be very professional in what we do, is very well grounded in the private sector. If we persist in believing it's government's responsibility to make our country sustainable for business, sustainable for the environment and sustainable for all the things that were brought up in that performance. If we leave it to government, we will fail. In the field with my parents who are looking for fossils. And I suppose one incident sticks in my mind. I discovered um, myself at a site where my parents were busy. They didn't seem to want to go back for lunch. The sun was burning and I was bored stiff. I went off and found my own bone, as it were, and I started to dig it up with a, with a stick or a, a, a spike. And my parents noticed that I'd been missing. So they came over the brow of the hill and found me just as oblivious as time as they were because I had found what turned out to be a complete jaw of an extinct pig. I was thrilled by the discovery and thrilled even more so by the excitement this evinced in my parents. I was angry to this day that they took the bone away from me because it was too important for a four-year-old to be digging up them. And I find myself increasingly uh, faced with opportunities to give encouragement and to give um, constructive advice, not looking down, but just saying, look, you know, I'm a high school dropout. I've done well, you can do well. Just pick what it is you want to do and do your best, and if you find you're not doing very well, don't be shy to back off and do something else.